The Giants take on the Eagles for a 1 o'clock start in South Philly. Welcome to the show. My name is Brock Page, and I do random sports picks for fun. The G-Men opened up as the 3.5-point underdogs with the total at an even 43 points. Since the betting opened up, the majority of that early money came pouring in on the Eagles as expected. The birds are now minus five against the spread with the total moving slightly upward to 43 and a half. Currently, the Eagles are the money line favorites. And at the moment, the majority of the betting public continues to back Philadelphia with their hard earned money. I think when it's all said and done, we could most likely very well see a closing number between six and seven points. So if you're an Eagles better, I wouldn't pussyfoot around too much longer, but if you're liking the G-Men to bounce back, I think you're in a great spot here, and your patience is certainly going to pay off. Now, I'd fully expect you to catch at least six points on the Giants if you're going to bet it, but with that said, this Giants organization is struggling internally and when it comes to gambling. New York's 0-2 against the number overall, and they're losing by an average of 15 points per game through Week 2. They're also going up against a Philly team who's 1-0 against the spread as the favorite. And they're averaging 25 points of offense a game. Meanwhile, on the other side, the G-Men are averaging less than 7 points a contest and have scored just one touchdown on the year. All told, the case for the Eagles can certainly be made. But before I go ahead and make my official pick, let's take a look at the scoring real quick. And when it comes to the totals, Giants games are 2-0 to the unders thus far in the year. Meanwhile, depending on where you're shopping, the Eagles are 1-0-1 to the unders themselves. All told, the case for the under can certainly be made in this one. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to disagree with the betting public on this one and take the under, 43.5. And, and when it comes to selecting a winner, I'm going to slide with the betters on this one. I'm taking Philadelphia minus 5. Winning it outright for some money line cash. All told, I'm taking Philly and the under. Next game I have for you, it is going to be Atlanta at Detroit. The betting in this one opened up with the Falcons as the three-point favorites. And the total at an even 49. Since the betting opened up, we've seen some of that early money coming in on the visiting team. Currently, Atlanta's now laying three and a half against the spread with the total remaining at an even 49. Currently, the Falcons are the money line favorites, and at the moment, Atlanta still holds the majority of the betting public's action. Speaking of Atlanta, they're going up against a Detroit squad who's been excellent in their outright victories, as well as covering the spread. Detroit's 2-0 against the number overall, with both of those covers coming as the underdog. Detroit's covered in their lone home game, as well as going 1-0 as the official home underdog. They're going up against an Atlanta squad who's just 1-1 against the number overall, and 0-1 as the official road favorite. Even worse, this Atlanta team failed to cover a 6.5 point spread in Week 1 against the hapless Chicago Bears. All told, the case for Detroit can certainly be made, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the hook and take the Lions plus 4, getting the job done against the spread. And when it comes to the scoring, we could see a lot of it. That said, much to my surprise, both teams are just one and one to the overs through week three. That mind, however, the Falcons are averaging 29 points a game. Meanwhile, their games themselves average 49 total points per contest. As far as the Lions go, they're averaging 30 points a game themselves. All told, the case for the over can certainly be made. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Give me the over 49 in this one. And when it comes to selecting an outright winner, I'm going to make one of those weird plays where I pick the underdog to cover, but the favorite to win, if there's an official term for that, just let me know. And please don't stay su uh, stupid, you know, because I'm fragile. But anyway, this Falcons team looks unstoppable on offense. I just don't think Detroit's defense can hold them up. Atlanta's going to outscore the Lions in this one. Give me the Falcons winning it outright on the road for some money line cash. All told, I like the Lions plus four with the over and the Falcons winning it outright. Next contest I have for you, it is going to be Houston 
at New England. The betting opened up with the Texans as the 11-point underdogs. And the total at an even 44. Since the betting opened up, New England's now minus 12.5, with the total moving downward to 43.5. Currently, the Pats are the 8-1 to money line favorites. And at the moment, 69% of the action is still in New England. We could very well see another closing number on a New England game go upwards of 15 points. It's really quite remarkable the consistency, uh, consistency under which this team opens and closes as the two score favorites over the past five years is truly impressive on the professional level. But anyway, this Houston team is having a tough time putting points on the board. And they actually got blank last year at the hands of the Patriots as well. But as far as uh, now is concerned, Houston's averaging just 10 points a game and failed to cover against Jacksonville as the six-point favorites. They're going up against a New England team who's looking for a double-digit cover here after beating the pants off the Saints last week by 16. That's going to put New England at 1-1 one one against the number as the favorite. All told, this is a fairly hefty margin to expect the Patriots to cover, and it's certainly not a no-brainer. So before I go ahead and make my official selection, Let's go ahead and take a look at the scoring. And when it comes to the totals, Houston games are 2-0 to the unders through week three. Their games are averaging just 29 total combined points through the first two weeks. In addition to all that, I think this trend of terrible Thursday night football games continues. With that in mind, I'm going to buy the hook here and agree with the betting public. Give me the under 43 and a half in this one. And when it comes to selecting a winner, I can't in good conscience put the Pats on upset alert at home to this Texans team in the state that they're currently in. I'm going to once again buy the hook and agree with the betting public. Give me the New England Patriots, minus 12, and winning it outright for some money line cash. All told, I've got New England and the under. All right, folks, I am going to slide into one of two Instagram quick picks. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's Brock Page IG. Cleveland's minus one and a half at Indy with the total at 40 and a half. It's been a long time since the Browns have been favored. Can't ride with them though. I'm buying the hook. Give me Indy plus two, winning it outright with the under. And then I'm sliding into my next and final game for the show. I'm talking about Miami minus six at the New York Jets with the total at an even 42. Tell you what, Cutler's not incredible, but let these Jets linger. Give me New York plus six. The under 42. Miami wins it outright in a sloppy one at the Meadowlands. Once again, Jets plus six with the under in Miami for some money line cash. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. For some reason, you decide to use the free information on this program. You're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.